بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم The next under the company planning and budgeting is cash flow projectors. What is cash flow projectors? Cash flow projector simply means the estimated cash flow. Estimated cash flow means so we have to make an estimation for the inflow of cash as well as for the outflow of cash for a particular period of time. For example, so we have to make an estimation that how much will be our inflow of cash inflow of cash as well as outflow of cash for the next uh, for example six six week or for example for the next two months so if you want to make estimation of the inflow of cash as well as the outflow of cash so that is possible through cash flow projectors basically what is the purpose of this one the purpose of this estimation is that so we have to see that if our inflow of cash is more it means there is a surplus so for that surplus, we have to find out the way of investment, why there should be surplus fund. And also, if our cash flow projector show that there's a, there is a shortage for cash, then you have to find out the source of cash, right? So either the inflow show the extra cash or either the cash here, the, the estimation show the deficit. If it showed the surplus, it, it, this means that there will be extra cash available in the future. So you have to find out that way for their investment if it should the negative it means that in the future there will be a deficit for cash then you have to find out the source of cash for that so in order to check that one first of all let us go for for this one itself click on this find number one it says welcome okay thank you then click next when you click next there are basically four steps beginning balance cash receipts business expenses and account payable Definitely while making the cash flow, so we have this four items. How much was cash at the beginning? How much you have received during this time? How much you paid for the expenses? And how much you paid for your account payable? And at the end, it will show that how much will be available at the end, right? So it is in the case of, not only in the case of business, even it can be in the case of routine or day-to-day, -day, we can say, day-to-day uh, -day activity of each individual. Let us say, for example, we want to go, uh, we can say, to picnic to, to Parman, uh, one of the district of Kabul. Let us say, for example, at the beginning, we, before uh, to, move, to go for the picnic, uh, we have, for example, 10,000 in our pocket. During the journey, we have received, for example, 5,000 from our friend. 10 become 5, become 15, right? Let us say, for example, I paid, again, 3,000 for the expenses. Then how much was remaining amount? 12,000. Let us say I paid 2000 for the liability, it became 10000 So that 10000 will be considered as well as closing balance of cash. If it shows negative, it means I have a shortage, then I have to find out amount in order to spend on the picnic. If it shows the extra amount, it means at the end or after the picnic or at the end of the picnic. So there is an extra amount of money. Either you can bring it back to home or otherwise you can wind the way for the investment or way to spend that one as well so the same thing is in the case of companies companies of course first of all they have to select their opening balance of cash opening balance of cash or belong to bank accounts or undeposited funds all those accounts are available all those your all your bank accounts are basically available as as opening balance how many bank accounts you have? All of these are the bank accounts. This check account, AIB account, PT is also belong to this one, debit card and cobble bank. Whether you select all of them as opening balance or you can select some of them as opening balance. If you feel that this is not an opening balance, you can untick it. If you feel that all of them are opening balance, then you can select it. If you, if you think that, for example, all of them are the opening balance, okay, fine. Let me remove this part. See now, how much is the current balance if all of them will be added? If you add all of them, the balance will be 8,517,774. This will be the beginning balance of cash while, or we can say at the beginning of the accounting period or at the beginning of this estimation period. Adjust balance. What do you mean by adjust balance? Adjust balance is used for this purpose. If you feel that, for example, in the coming future, so let us say for example balance of debit card is one lakh seventy nine thousand if you feel that for example seventy nine thousand of this one will be paid for some expenses so on that amount if you feel that some amount should be paid it means there is an outflow if there is any outflow out of any of these accounts in the coming future 
So you have to enter that amount with the negative sign, with the, with the negative sign. Let us say, for example, out of this account, we want to pay 79000 for some expenses. Or let us say, for example, not out of this. Let us say out of total, we have to pay, for example, 20000 Two lakh, for example, for, for some expenses. I'm saying that, for example, if you feel that the whole of this amount will not be considered as opening balance for the next period, but out of this amount, I have to pay two lakh for some expenses or for some account payable, then you have to minus that one. This is one of the ways. If you minus this one, so this will be the adjusted beginning balance. If sometime you feel that, although we have this amount, but in the next previous, maybe after one day, after two days, three days, or five days, you may receive additional five lakh from the customers. Then on that case, you have to provide it with a positive. It means if you feel that there is an outflow, then provide that amount with the negative sign. But if you feel that there is a there is an inflow, then provide that one with the with the positive sign. So currently the Beginning balance was, we can say, 85 lakh, but now 5 lakh is included with that. Now the total balance is equal to 90 lakhs. Also, we can say 9, find something millions, right? So this is the opening balance. Then click on the next. Then you have to provide your receipts. How much will be your receipts? Then for calculation of the receipts, there are methods. Choose a projection method. How can you project or how can you estimate your receipts? For this, there are six methods. I want to project cash receipts manually. Then you can do it manually, for example. Select this one. Then you have to select the date, for example. Then select the description and select the amount. For example, how much you will receive. I will receive, for example, 20,000 or 20 left. Then you have to select, for example, the next date and so on. If you want to do it manually, you can do it. For example, which day, how much will you receive from where? Which day, how much will you receive from where? Which day, how much will you receive from where? All these things can be done manually. This is one of the ways that you can estimate your inflow. Second way is use last six weeks. Click on this one. If you say, for example, use last six weeks, so QuickBook will provide information from the last six weeks. Right? For example, how much was the last six weeks? For example, the first week, then the second one, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Fourth, fifth, and sixth was zero. Why? Because there was no transactions in this account so that is why it is zero that is why cash flow is zero and remember one thing that this cash flow projector is made only for six weeks for how many weeks for six weeks so if you want to make estimation for the next six week data of the last six weeks should be applied if we apply the data of last six week so the first week will be the same as this one second week will be the same as this one and rest of the weeks will be equal to the zero why because you are saying that whatever you have received in the last six weeks, it will be received in the future. If whatever is received in the last six weeks, if it will be received in the next six weeks, so definitely first week is this much, second week is this much, rest of the weeks are zero. This is the second method of projection. Next method of projection, use an average of the last six weeks. Do not take the exact last six weeks. And instead of that one, take the average. If you want to take the average, so, so those two amounts will be divided by by six right so if you remember the previous one once again click on this one if you say the average so this amount plus this amount will be divided by six then you can get the average right this is called the average if you say the average the average for each month will be four lakh sixty six thousand seven hundred each an amount will be the same this is the next method next method is use a weighted average of the last six weeks you to the weighted average of the last six weeks simply means weighted means those weights which are closer to to the future so more weightage will be given for those weeks let us go once again to the average see this is basically the week which is closer to the future so more weightage will be given for this after this weightage will be given for this one after this weightage will be given for this one it means we have to check the importantness right if this date is for example zero if this week is zero so definitely the coming future also will be zero if this is zero the coming future also will be zero if this one is much more it means we assume that the future current future also will be more why because so any date any date which is in the past of course it will be repeated in the future as well 
So if you go for the weighted average, you use a weighted average of the last six weeks. So it means any week which is closer to the future, more weightage will be given for that. For example, more weightage will be given for the for this week. Why? Because it is much more closer to the future. After that, weightage will be given for this, for this, for this, for this, and for this. Right? So more weightage for the this week and less weightage for this week. Why? Because this is much more closer to the future and this is far away from the future. So if you select this one, so average will be only how much? Average will be only 87 times and something like that. Why this is so? Because in the fifth, because in the sixth week, in the fifth, in the fourth, in the third, there is no balance. So that is why more weightage are given for this and less weightage are given for the other, other week. This was the weighted average cost. Next point, same sex week period last year. So it means the same sex period in the last year. If you click on this one, it is zero. Why? Because in the same date last week, last year, there was no accounting data on this QuickBook. Why? Because I have created this QuickBook this year. If there was, or if there is any sort of information for the last year, it means for 2019 as well. It means 8, 9, 2019. If data is available for 8, 9, 2019, so that one will be selected. Same six week period last year. Same this, same time in the last, same six week in the last accounting period. As there is no information, so that's why balance is zero. So average of this one. The first one is the same. It might be, for example, this might be one, like this might be two, like this is three, four, five, and so on. But if you take average, all of them will be the same. But usually I'm going to go for this one. Use last six week as average. So call seller this one. Like no, don't take this one. Take average. Take the average. Now let us say these are the inflow for the first one, second, third, and fourth. Once again, if you need any adjustment, you can make some adjustment. Let us say, for example, on the first one, I may receive some additional amount from one of our customers. For example, thirty thousand. Right. On the fifth, on the on the fourth week, for example, I have I may have a shortage of, for example, twenty thousand. One of the customers, one of the receivers may not uh, pay for us. For example, on the next week, I may receive sixty thousand additional amount from other we can say sources, right? So if in the future, uh, excluding this information, excluding this information, you may have some extra receipt or some extra payments, so you have to make it in the adjustment. Extra receipts or extra inflow should be provided with a positive sign and extra inflow, extra outflow should be provided with a negative. Then click on the next. This is regarding expenses. Then you have to provide information regarding your expenses. For example, let us say one of the expenses that I have to pay is, for example, we can say donation expenses. And which day you pay this one, for example, on this day? And then how you pay it, whether you pay it on weekly basis, whether you pay it on bi-weekly basis, or whether you pay it, for example, semi-monthly or monthly basis. And remember this one, this cash flow projector is made based on weekly basis. Let us say, for example, we want to pay it on weekly basis. And how much is the inflow? Inflow is equal to one. Let us select another expenses. Let us say, for example, advertisement and promotion. Select a particular date. Okay, how you pay this one? I'm going to pay this one on weekly basis. How much is the amount? Amount will be 20,000. Select another expenses as well. For example, let us say uh, we want to pay bank service charge. Select a particular date here. Let us say this date. And how you pay this one? For example, I'm going to pay on bi-weekly basis. How much is the amount? Let us say amount is 30,000, right? And let us say, for example, some other expenses insurance expenses on this date and how you pay this one let us say i'm going to pay this one uh, bi monthly uh, we can say semi monthly semi monthly is fine then how much is the amount amount is equal to fifty thousand. do you want to make some adjustment no need for the adjustment then provide it and also after this account payable details so in the next six weeks these accounts also will become payable which accounts pay, become payable? In the first week, there is no payable, but in the second week, 
5,000 become payable. In the third week, 2,000 become payable. In the fourth week, 250 become payable. So this one also should the payable. The payable, it means the amount that you have to pay for your, your account payable. The first week, there is nothing. The second week, there is too much amount, 9 lakh, but 925,000. So these are the payments that you have to make in the future. After that, then click on the finish. Now, see the information. Cash, beginning balance of cash. Beginning balance of cash for the current week. This is for the current week, right? This is for the current week. Running expenses for the current week. Donation for the current week, right? Then advertisement for the current week, of course. And other services and so on. Total business expenses become how much? This is. Total cash that I have for the current week is this much. Yes, total expenses which I have is this much. Now, from the total cash minus total expenses, you will have this much cash. And this is called cash available for disbursement. From this one, you have to minus the payable. How much that you have to pay? Total account payable. How much become payable? This is payable. This is the available cash and this is the payable. And this will be, this will be the ending balance of cash. This ending balance of cash, again, will be opening balance for the next week. Right? This is the next week. Week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5, and week 6. This is the opening balance. Right? Again, how much cash receive you have, how much adjustment, and total amount of total cash. Right? Then, business expenses. How many expenses do you have? Total expenses. Then, from total of this one, minus the amount of expenses, you will have cash available for disbursement. From this one, minus the account payable. So, there is no account payable. This is the ending balance. Again, this ending balance will be opening balance for the next month. This ending balance opening for the next, opening for the next, closing uh, closing of this week, opening for the next. Closing of this one will be opening for the next month. That is one thing. And the second thing that you have to consider is regarding the expenses. See, training expenses was based on monthly basis, right? So that is why it is paid on the current week. So it is not paid on the next week, next, 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 and next. For the next four weeks, there is no payment, and it is of course paid after that. Why this is so? Because when you pay this month for the next one month, you should not pay it, and after that, you have to pay it. That is why, if it is monthly basis, if the frequently, uh, frequently of the payment is one month for the next four month for the next four week, there is no payment. The next one, donation expenses was on weekly basis, so that is why on each week there is a payment, right? Advertisement also was weekly. That is why on each week there's a there's a payment. And business and bank service charge was on bi-weekly. So that is why in the first week there's no payment, second week payment, no payment, payment, no payment, payment, no payment, and so on. That is why it is made there. Insurance expenses, it is after 15 days, right? Payment, no payment, payment, no payment, payment, no payment, payment. One week no payment, and the next week at the end there is a payment. So in this way, you can make your adjustment. So once again, remember that if there is any, if we want to consider the expenses payments, so we have to set the frequency. We have to check the frequency. If it is by, if it is on weekly basis, so it appear on each week. If it is on monthly basis, so it will not appear for the next few weeks. If it is bi-weekly, one week appear, no week. And the next week, it does not appear. So once again, first of all, how much is the opening balance? Opening balance of cash plus any cash receipts receipt that you have to receive from the customers. Then if there is an adjustment, this is the total cash. It is mentioned total cash, right? Total cash. Then from total cash minus the total expenses, this is the balance of cash available for the sports bill. The sports bill simply means distribution. From this one, if there is any account payable minus that one, then how much is the closing? Closing go for the next month. Again, receipt plus adjustment. This is the total of cash again minus the total payment this is the balance minus the payables this is the total payable minus the total payable this is the cash available if you see at the end of each month there is an available cash and there is an extra amount even it is we can say more than six million six more than seven million six million more than six more than seven more than seven and more than seven around we can say eight million if there is an extra amount of cash as like this, then you have to find out the source of investment, where to make an investment. If you feel that, for example, ending balance is negative, then you have to find out, then you have to see, then you have to consider it as shortage of cash, and you need to find out the source of cash. If it is positive, 
it means it is surplus, then you have to find a way for investment. If it is negative, it means it is deficit, then you have to find the way for raising cash from the market in order to manage day to day activity of the person. So if everything is done, then you can print it, then you can save in the PDF, then you can close it, right? Then you can close it, close this one. So I made it this one, then close it, okay? That is done. If you go once again back for the company, projector, click on this one, then you can open your cash flow projectors, okay? Click on this, rest of the thing is fine. Everything is already selected, okay? Finish this one. If you want to make a PDF file, then save a PDF. We have to save it, then you can select the area. Let us say we want to select on the this file. File name should be, for example, AA. Where should we save the stuff? Then click on this one. Then close the section. Then go for the, the stop AAA, right? I think this was there. Now see you can find out your information. So this was regarding cash flow projector.